to hear him speak, you would think, would you not, that he was a pacifist, that he defines himself as anti-war. Now, how can this be said in good conscience by someone who has just, standing by the side of the dictator of Syria on the 30th of July, referred to the 154 heroic operations conducted in Iraq by the so-called resistance, a resistance that's run, as we know, by a senior bin Ladenist and by many of the former secret police of the Ba'athist regime. How can someone say, and say they're anti-war and they care about casualties, that they praise 154 operations a day? 145. I ask you. 145. He's coming down a bit. Um, oh, that's what it says it's in not your leaflet. That it's not that many. It says 145 let me, in let your me, leaflet. Let me, let me remind you of what some of those operations were. Uh, the blowing up by military-grade explosives of the headquarters of the United Nations in Baghdad a few months after the intervention, as it was being tenanted by Sergio Gimiello, one of the great international civil servants of our time, who was fresh from, Amy knows more about this than I, but fresh from his role in the very belated supervision of the independence of East Timor from Indonesia and the holding of a free election in East Timor, and the jihadists who murdered him put out a communique saying, we have today put an end to the life of this disgusting man because he freed Timor from Muslim holy land in Indonesia. These people are not pacifists, ladies and gentlemen, nor are they anti-imperialists. If you haven't noticed, they call for the restoration of a lost empire, the caliphate, and the imposition of Sharia law on all non-believers within its borders. That's not pacifism. That's not anti-imperialism. And to praise the people who do this, <laughs> to sully the name of Charles James Fox, ladies and gentlemen, with such a squalid, with such a squalid uh, enterprise of brigandage and conquest is truly revolting. It's almost as funny as Michael Moore saying that the, the Zarqawiite resistance in Iraq is for him the same as the Minutemen of the American Revolution. There comes a point, and I think it's come by now, where what people say is self-